Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Uh, I want to thank everybody. We're at 22,200 subscribers. And I also want to remind everybody you can become a member to the channel now for just 99 cents a month. At the end of this month, the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions will be going away. And all those perks will drop over to the eBuzz Central member. Now, as most of you know, I've gotten rid of three different laptops and replaced them with a Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2. And I'm running the Tuxedo OS on it. I'm also running the Tuxedo OS on a backup HP laptop, which I truly love the operation of it. But Tuxedo OS 2 has launched, and it comes with KDE 5.27, the LTS kernel 6.1. And it's a great update. It comes with the KDE framework update, the KDE gear update. It comes with Pipewire 0.3.66. It comes with the Mesa 22.3.6 graphics and the Mozilla Firefox 110 web browser. And it is now available for download. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to do this quick video today was because I wanted to discuss just how smooth this update went. I have had a lot of problems in the past, no matter whether it was Arch or an Ubuntu-based distro or OpenSUSE. Anytime I had a major update, I always had to restart two or three times and there was always something that hung. This one went so smooth on Tuxedo. It just popped up, said there was an update due, and I could see, and I, I inspected the updates, and it showed that KDE 5.27.1 was coming in. It gave me a list of what was leaving, gave me a list of what was being updated, and it went through. It took about five to seven minutes. Once it was done, it didn't even cue me to restart. But me being me, I always restart after a major update. It popped right back up, and now I've got the beauty of KDE 5.27. I have the ability to add my floating panel now. I've got an option to run a lot more different backgrounds. I know that doesn't mean a lot to y'all, but it does to me. And if you come over here, it lets you know this is Tuxedo OS 2, uh, 5.27.1, the KDE framework update. And here's the kernel, 6.1.0-1009 Tuxedo. It's 64-bit, and it's on the X11 graphics platform. Now, I also did this update on my backup HP laptop just as smooth as using it on the Tuxedo laptop. Of course, my HP is going to be a little slower. It's an older system, but the operating system in and of itself runs great on it. Now, some of the things that come with the new KDE is definitely the tiling aspect. A lot of people love using Pop! OS because of the tiling feature it has, and KDE has definitely made some leaps and bounds there. It makes it a lot easier to move windows around, adjust them the way you want, give you specific ways to adjust each window and pretty much customize it and set it up any way you like. Now, I do recommend that if you do want to play around with KDE 5.27, definitely take a look at the new tiling feature. I think you're going to truly love it and it's going to make your multitasking well, way easier. Now, the overall look of Tuxedo OS itself did not change. You still got the silver folders and you still can adjust this any way you want. Now, I do like the full screen here. I usually go down and I will change it. You've got alternatives here. I go with the application dashboard. Of course, you can go with the application launcher or the application menu, whatever you like or whatever meets your personal preferences. So I'm going to back out of this. And then if you come over here, what you will notice when you download Tuxedo is you do get a lot of the K applications, whether it be uh, Kate, You've got uh, Camoso, KCalc, KDE Connect, KDE Connect SMS, KMines. You get a lot of the KDE applications with it, which I don't mind. I like a lot of the KDE applications. I've added some of my own, uh, you know, only Office, OBS, and stuff like that. But I'm still continuing to totally enjoy this operating system. It makes things really easy. And like I said in my previous video, because I have been using it over 30 days now. It just makes my job easy, and it's Ubuntu-based. I haven't been on an Ubuntu-based operating system in a long time. So I just wanted to make a quick video and let you know that if you're not using Tuxedo OS, maybe give it a shot. It's great. It's quick. It's snappy. No, it's not Arch. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's bad. Arch, to me, sometimes runs a little bit snappier doing certain tasks. But with this system, I cannot complain. Everything runs smooth. I'm running a Ryzen 7 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I can render video. I can do thumbnails. It just makes my job completely easy. So I suggest if you haven't tried it, zip on over, download it. I'll be sure to put that link in the description below. 
and throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine and see what you think about it. I will also put a link in the description below for this Pulse 15 Gen 2 Tuxedo laptop that I'm using. It is amazing. It's going to be hard for me to let it go back. I promise you that. They're letting me use it for 90 days, but I just want to drop this quick video, let you all know about Tuxedo. The new OS has dropped. Uh, it's OS 2 with 6.1 kernel. Zip on over, download it, throw it on a USB. Take it for a test drive. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Nutrion, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.